Now I'd like to show you a video, an animation video. Hopefully that will clarify some of the concepts we talked about in our previous presentation. Let me first show you time-lapse photography of cell going through mitosis. These are the chromosomes. As you saw, they were held together. And during the process, these chromosomes have split into half. Half of the chromosomes have gone to one side of the cell. Here's the cell. Half of the chromosomes have gone to one side and the other half to the other side. So, and now we have formed two nuclei. We will be forming two nuclei. This is the process of mitosis. Next, we will see the cell will also divide into two cells. Here we go. Uh, we are forming two nuclei and now you will see this one cell is going to split into two cells. Now, look, let's look at the animation. Here is the the chromosomes, here are the chromosomes. These chromosomes will be split into two identical sets. We started with one set of chromosomes. The chromosomes divided in the S phase, that's when the DNA replication takes place. In the process of mitosis, the replicated DNA is divided into the two daughter cells. Let's look at this. In the first phase, mitosis as we have seen there are several phases of mitosis in prophase then the dna starts to condense and discrete into discrete structures we call chromosomes the nuclear membrane is still intact at this stage during the prometaphase the nuclear membrane goes away at this stage each chromosome is composed of two chromatids two sister chromatids this is one chromatid this is the other chromatid they are held together at the centromere region. Centromere is a special DNA sequence where specific proteins assemble. These proteins form kinetochores. Microtubules coming out of the sorry centrosome, they were attached to the kinetochore. Each chromosome will have two kinetochores. These kinetochores will attach to the spindles, one spindle from the one side and the other kinetochore will attach to spindle fibers from the other side. Basically, in the, the result would be when these chromosomes, this centromere is also divided, the one chromosome will go to one side of the cell, the other chromosome will go to the other side of the cell. Let us continue this process. Here you will see the microtubules are attaching to the kinetochore. The microtubules will line up in metaphase. This is the metaphase plate. Here the cell pauses and checks whether all the kinetochores have been attached to the microtubules. Once the cell realizes that all the kinetochores have been attached to spindle fibers emanating from two poles, here is one pole, here is the other pole, in a particular chromosome which has now two kinetochores, one kinetochore will attach, is, is attached to spindle on our right side and the other kinetochore will attach to the spindle on the left side. So, let us see that here. In anaphase, the microtubules which were held together at the centromere region through a special molecule, we talked about cohesin. Now, at this stage, anaphase cohesin present at the centromere or the kinetochore region is also degraded, which allows these daughter chromosomes, daughter chromatids, now which have become chromosomes themselves, to separate and the forces which are being generated by microtubules. There are two ways these forces are generated. One, these microtubules are shortening at this site. The other way this force is generated is by microtubules, overlapping microtubules, pushing against each other. So, these chromosomes are being pulled towards the centrosome and the two centrosomes are being pushed apart by the microtubules which are overlapping each other coming from the two different spindles. The spindle fibers, they move to, to the opposite end of the cell. And now in telophase, the nuclear membrane starts reforming. DNA or the chromosomes, they start becoming decondensed. Then they are not in discernible structures. And from there, the next stage is the division of the cell or the cytokinesis. The other organelles in the cell, the mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, ER, we have talked about. They are equally, roughly equally divided between the two cells. A ring of actin filaments will form in the middle. As we know, these actin filaments have property to contract 
uh, using a motor protein these fibers will basically when they contract they will split the cell into two the nucleus has already been split so here we go the actin filaments are doing that please note that organelles such as mitochondria golgi apparatus er they have also been divided between the two cells approximately equally so this was the process of mitosis next we will look at the process of meiosis